Hey, what's up everyone? This is Vegetarian Zombie, and welcome back to Beginning C Sharp with Unity. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the series and what's going to be happening to it to it on this current channel and where it's going to be going. And But before we do that, let's just dive into our last assignment. In the last assignment, I wanted you to create a boss monster. This boss monster is going to be a type of class, and this class will simply contain a name and then a point value. And then what we'll do, what I asked you to do was create an instance of it, give it a name and a point value, and then to null it out. So I'm gonna create a new class here, and I'm gonna do that by clicking that Create button, clicking c -sharp Script, and I'm gonna call this Boss. I'm gonna open this up here. Now you can see we, we've already got this boss, it's a type of mono behavior. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this, and this is just gonna be just a regular class like so, not a mono behavior class. Now I'm going to give it a couple of variables. The first one is going to be a name variable. And I'm capitalizing it this since I'm actually not gonna be using this in a mono behavior. Unity has its own capitalization standard outside of C Sharp. And we'll be getting into that later in this series. And here we have our name and our point value, and both of them are public. I'm gonna return back here, and now I'm gonna go to my game manager script. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete all of this right here. Now what I can do is create my new boss monster. And first we're gonna call it boss like this, and we'll just call this monster. And we're going to create a new boss. And now let's assign the monster the name. And we'll call him Frank. And we'll assign a point value. Since he's a boss, he's going to have a thousand points. So we've created this boss monster. And let's say we use them. And then later, we want to get rid of them. The way we do that is we just put monster equals null. What happens is that now this monster becomes eligible for garbage collecting, and then the garbage collector will destroy it the next time it runs through. Okay, now we get to a bit of a crossroads of sorts. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I do have good news, and I do have bad news. And as always, we're going to start with the bad news first. That way, you're not going to leave this video with a sort of bad taste in your mouth. Bad news is this is going to be the last episode on this channel. Now, before you freak out or start lighting up, uh, start lighting your torches and sharpening your pitchforks, don't worry. I'm not saying that this is the end of this series. Rather, I'm going to be moving it to another venue. Now, if you've been watching this series from the very beginning, you'll know that my name is actually Brian Moakley and I am the Unity lead over at RayWinderlich.com. And as the Unity team lead, my job is to work with the Unity team to develop tutorials so that ultimately you can learn Unity. You basically go into the site, raywinderlick.com, for free, and you will can just take these various different tutorials that will slowly get you up to speed with Unity. One thing I've realized when working with students throughout the last year or so is that a lot of people are really interested in making games, but they don't have a lot of programming experience. What I did with this series is I created it specifically for those people. Basically, you want to dive into Unity, but you don't want to spend all the time and fuss about learning C Sharp because learning C Sharp gives you a little bit of overhead. You have to learn about, say, the .NET runtime and have to learn about all these other things that have nothing to do with Unity. Well, this course I wanted to create in a way that was dedicated specifically to Unity so that you could learn C Sharp and get up and running in the context of Unity. That was the whole basis. And at the end of this course, you would have enough knowledge and enough experience to keep on taking our tutorials. So basically, the idea was if you wanted to learn C Sharp, I would point you at these videos over here. And after you've gone through the videos, you could then take some of our higher and more advanced level tutorials. I never expected this series to take off in the way it did. And talking with Ray, we thought it would be a better fit to have these series hosted over at raywinderlick.com. This way we can have everything housed in the same basket, so to speak, meaning you can take the beginning intro level tutorials there, and then when you're feeling ready to learn C Sharp, 
you can then dive into this series. So that's what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be moving the series over to raywinderlich.com and I'm actually going to be repurposing them for a bit. I'm going to be taking all the feedback that you've given me in these first 23 episodes and incorporate them into the lessons so that we can make them a little more applicable. And that way it will help other people who will be taking the course. Now this does present a bit of bad news. So if you've been staying up to date with these courses, basically it's going to go on pause for a little bit as I repurpose these videos just to get them up to speed with everything that we've talked about and also to get into the new format of raywindelick.com. So there's going to be a little bit of a break. That said, once we catch back up again, the course will be continuing as normal. At raywindelick.com, we do provide a subscription service, meaning you pay $20 a month and we provide high level quality tutorials for you to watch and they're all geared on iOS. We do have a couple of video tutorials specifically on Unity. So if you're interested in learning about the Unity API, you can watch those videos that I made last year. This series, I'm happy to say, is going to continue to be free. So we're gonna move them over to raywindelect.com. We're gonna get them all up to speed and based incorporating all of your feedback, and you can keep on watching them like you would at YouTube. We have our own commenting system as well, so you can leave comments and help people along who are, who are having problems as well. So in summation, you can find the rest of these tutorials at raywindelect.com, and you'll also find a whole bunch of free tutorials on Unity as well. Ultimately, we're trying to be a one-stop shop for Unity. You go to our site, you start digging into the tutorials, and by the end of them, you should be able to make your own game. As it stands, we're about halfway through this course. Believe it or not, we got about 20 more videos, 25 more videos to go that will cover a large part of the C-sharp language. Believe it or not, even in those 25 videos, we still won't cover the language completely. And there are big subjects I'm going to be leaving out. But here's the thing, if you make it through the end of this series, you will have the experience to pick up and learn from other resources where you can fill in those gaps. Basically, you'll be up and running, and that is the whole entire point of this series. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials so far. I've had a blast making them, and as I mentioned, I had no idea they would grow to the level that they have. That said, when I start producing these over at raywinderlick.com, I won't be producing any more on this channel. But I highly suggest you stick around as I do lots of Let's Plays on various different games, and I often cover games that are developed in Unity. In any case, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a lot. Again, you're always welcome to reach out to me if you're having any issues or so forth. And I'm looking forward to continuing this journey over at raywinderlick.com. So head on over there and say hi. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you over there. See you then.